Welcome back fellow learners, to the safest journey of Module 6. Before we proceed, let's rewind for a quick recap of Module 5, which covers electrical safety. Over 5 workers face electrocution each week. Electricity accounts for 12% of workplace deaths among young workers. In last, roughly 10 individuals endure electrical burns daily. Now, are you ready to dive into Module 6? But hold on, before we kick things off, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon for all the latest updates. And remember, it's essential to have caught up on the previous modules they'll be your guiding stars for what's ahead. Let's start Module 6, which covers struck by and caught in between hazards in construction. In this video, we'll take a comprehensive look at incidents involving workers struck by and caught in between hazards, but we won't just talk about the problems, we'll identify the types of operations most prone to these hazards, and arm you with the know-how to combat them effectively. This module is split into two lessons. First up, the struck by hazard, followed by the equally crucial, caught in between hazards. But wait, we've got more in store, let's unlock those terms buzzing around this module. Ever heard of audible backup alarms? These little lifesavers are a must on heavy construction vehicles, alerting nearby workers to potential danger when a vehicle reverses. Speaking of safety, a chalk might just be the unsung hero preventing vehicle roll-offs on inclines. Excavation work, an essential part of construction but a major hotspot for caught in between hazards. Did you know that most citations for these hazards back in 2005 were tied to excavation operations? Enter the limited access zone, creating a clear boundary around masonry wall construction, ensuring only essential employees have access. Ever wondered what PSI stands for? It's the pressure per square inch, a vital measure for compressed air used on the site. Let's talk about shoring, those sturdy structures like metal hydraulic or timber shoring systems, they're your go-to defenses against dreaded cave-ins in excavations. And tow boards, think of them as the silent guardians along scaffold platforms, keeping tools and objects from plummeting and risking harm to workers below, remember, installing tow boards is a smart engineering move for safety. Welcome to the first lesson about struck by hazard. Imagine a tool falling from above, hitting you hard. It's scary and painful, and you hope someone will come to help. Many workers face this danger, but safety rules can keep you safe from such accidents. Now, think about workers navigating near public roadways, exposed to the potential of being struck by passing trucks, cars, or other vehicles. These dangers aren't just limited to the roads, they can lurk in everyday workplaces too. But fear not, we've got a safety toolbox filled with engineering controls to shield you from harm. Always remember these crucial controls. First, the life-saving vehicle backup alarms install, use, and maintain them diligently. Position flaggers strategically behind vehicles with limited rear views. Keep non-essential workers clear of vehicle zones and steer clear of temporary overhead activities. Use barriers and warning signs to shield hazardous operations and roadways. When it comes to cranes and hoists, safety is non-negotiable. Never allow employees beneath loads in motion. Cordon off areas and display warning signs to keep non-essential personnel away from overhead equipment. Inspect cranes and hoists meticulously before every use to ensure they're in tip-top shape. And remember, never push cranes and hoists beyond their lifting capacities. Here's a critical reminder. Prohibit workers from driving equipment in reverse without proper alarms or flaggers in place. Proper maintenance of vehicles and their operating surfaces is key to eliminating many struck by injuries. Injuries from flying or falling objects can range from minor bruises to severe consequences like concussions, blindness, or worse, death. Wrapping up with a final safety tip, secure unrolled wire mesh effectively to prevent dangerous recoil. Let's take a peek at the study questions. Brace yourselves for the second lesson about caught in between hazards.
Imagine being stuck between giant machines, unable to move, fear gripping your heart. You pray for help, knowing one wrong move could mean the end. It's a real fear for workers, yet preventable with basic safety precautions. Let's dig into these imperative key points. Always stack building materials smartly, keeping them clear of work areas to prevent sudden shifts or slides that could endanger workers. Operational plans should carve out adequate space for moving suspended loads safely. Ensure ample space around material stacks and wide walkways, allowing workers to dodge sliding swiftly or accidentally nudged materials. Never step into an unprotected trench deeper than 5 feet without the proper safeguards. Some shallower trenches might also need protective systems like sloping, shoring, benching, or trench shields. Even some shallower trenches may warrant such protective measures. And now, the study questions await. Now, let's move to heartfelt reality. In 2020, tragedy struck within the heart of construction sites. It wasn't just numbers or statistics. It was 150 lives lost and 14,000 souls scarred by struck by incidents. But it didn't end there, 140 workers were caught in between. Imagine the wrenching pain, the families shattered, and the dreams abruptly ended. It's not just a statistical surge, it's a cry for change, a plea for safety, a call for a better tomorrow. Here are some crucial life-saving tips to keep in mind while on the job. Firstly, when working in a trench, ensure that heavy equipment and excavated soil are kept at least two feet away from the trench edges, this distance can differ between a safe environment and a potentially hazardous situation. Regular inspections are vital, take the time to thoroughly examine tools, machinery, and equipment to ensure they work properly, your diligence could prevent accidents and save lives. Clear communication is key. Whether operating machinery or working in an area with potential hazards, maintaining open and concise communication with your team members is crucial for everyone's safety. When it comes to moving equipment, always walk behind it whenever possible. This simple act significantly reduces the risk of accidents and ensures your safety. Stay vigilant and be aware of the equipment surrounding you at all times. Keeping a safe distance from machinery reduces the risk of accidents and injury. Avoid positioning yourself between moving materials and immovable structures, vehicles, or stacked materials. It's a potentially dangerous situation that should be avoided at all costs. Lastly, and most importantly, ensure that all workers receive proper training on safety protocols, hazard identification, and emergency procedures. Knowledge and preparedness are our strongest allies in ensuring a safe work environment for everyone involved. And here's your chance, got any queries or thoughts to share, don't hesitate, the comment section below is all yours. As we gear up for Module 7, brace yourselves for even more excitement ahead. Remember to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated, until then, take care and stay safe.